How's everybody today? Good. Well, after looking at the, the game, just a brief comment. Um, you know, we definitely played better as the game went on. Um, you know, didn't start out great in the game, but I thought as the game went on, really played with more confidence, executed better, um, played more physical. Started out a little bit tentative for some reason, uh, but I think overall we really improved and I think it's really important to continue to improve uh, and play with confidence, make plays when you have opportunities to make plays, um, uh, especially when you get into league play, uh, which we are right now. I mean, you got to do a little bit better job of preparing, a little bit better job of executing um, teams that we play. Obviously, if you look at our schedule starting this week, you know, are all good teams, really good teams. So it's important for our team to be able to continue to uh, improve, play with confidence, play together as a unit, um, work to execute better, and that comes from how you practice, how you prepare, and the kind of habits that you develop. Um, we had players of the week, you know, Amari Cooper, Austin Shepard really played well. Blake played, you know, very well in the game. Landon Collins, Xavier Dixon, Trey DePriest. Uh, we're the most productive players on defense, and you know Rashawn Evans and Kenyon Drake were two of the guys on teams that you know did a really good job on special teams. Even though the specialist, you know, did a good job in the opportunities that they have. Um, you know, we got a couple guys that are a little bit, you know, nicked up that may not be 100% today, but I feel like we'll have just about everybody tomorrow. Uh, D. White will practice, you know, all week. We'll, we'll kind of see, you know, how it goes with him and make a decision later in the week and see, you know, if we think he's able to go out there and play. Uh, he did practice some last week, so uh, we're encouraged by the progress that he made. You know, Jarek Williams will start, um, you know, running and doing drills, you know, this week, um, but probably a much greater long shot you know, for him to be able to play in, in, in this coming game. So, um, you know, I think that in, you know, games like this, you know, players really get excited. Um, you know, if they don't, they don't understand Alabama football and they don't understand playing in the SEC. Um, but I think we got enough guys on our team that really understand that. So I don't think that should be an issue. I also think that fans get excited, and I think it's important that they, you know, create an atmosphere that's going to help our team have the best chance to be successful in this game. And um, noise, energy, enthusiasm, all those things, you know, carry over in how we play. I think Florida has a really, really good team, um, maybe a lot better team than even what they're ranked right now because ratings right now don't mean a lot. Um, you know, the new offensive coordinator has definitely done a really good job for them in terms of what they're doing offensively. Uh, they have some significant impact players back that were injured a year ago. You know, the quarterback has played very well. You know, two running backs uh, have played very, very well. Um, number 11, Robinson, the receiver, is one of the top guys in the country. Uh, so this is a much, much, much improved, very good offensive football team. Their offensive line is big and playing much better because they've gotten some continuity back there as well. You know, defensively, these guys always play really good on defense. They're always one of the top teams in our conference when it comes to defense. You know, Will does a good job in that part of it. They've got really good players, uh, and, you know, they play well together. Uh, they've got some really good specialists. Uh, and returners uh, that are explosive on special teams. So, you know, this is a very good team. It's going to be a real challenge for for us and something that we're definitely looking forward to. What kind of um, challenges does Vernon Hargreaves create for your offense, and what makes him such an effective cornerback? Well, he was a really, really good player in high school. He's very instinctive. He's, you know, fast, quick. Um, but I, I think, you know, probably his greatest asset, besides having great ability, is a very instinctive player and a uh, very good cover guy. He's tough, physical. Um, I, I don't know that any of the things that um, qualify you to be a, a really good DB. Um, he's got good ball skills, can play man-to-man, -man, uh, and he's a good tackler. So 
Um, and he does all those things extremely well. Um, last game, I know it, it bothered you to give up as many explosive plays as, 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 as they did Saturday night. Um, in SEC play, can explosive plays be even bigger explosive plays? And, you know, what do you do to, to contain those? Well, I, I think that, um, um, you know, when I said players are in position to make plays, they need to make those plays. Uh, I think a couple of those plays that ended up being, you know, what you called explosive plays, um, people were in position to make the play, and their their player made made the play on the ball. So we, we need to do a better job in that regard. Um, we need to do a better job of getting the ball out, getting the ball off of people, um, you know. But I think we're improving in that area. We're in the right places. We just got to play the ball with confidence and make plays on the ball. Uh, and I think that will eliminate a lot of it. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to be playing against better players, so they have more capabilities of making plays, which is just a bigger challenge for us to do our job better. Um, I have two. First, um, how close in contact do you and Will stay these days? And how much similarity, when you look at their defense, how much similarity do you see with your defense? Well, you know, first of all, you know, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Will. He did a great job for us when he worked for us and was one of the best assistant coaches that I've ever had and, you know, knew that he would make a very, very good head coach. He's a hard worker, a good recruiter, and really does a good job of coaching players. And um, there, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, they probably play uh, even defense, you know, a little bit more than we do. Uh, but really when it comes to the coverages and the overall things that they do, there's a lot of similarities. Okay, and, and the other one is um, on affecting the passer, not sacks, not, not sacking the quarterback, but affecting the passer. Are you getting more from the defensive line as the season goes along? Well, I, I think that, you know, we, we have in general in these first three games, I think we knocked the quarterback down 12 times, you know, last week and affected, you know, him 12 times in the pocket by, you know, getting very, very good pressure. He may have still got the ball off, but he got hit when he threw it and it affected the throw. So um, I, I am encouraged by that. And uh, this team has tremendous balance. Uh, they ran the ball really, really effectively, um, you know, last week against Kentucky. And, um, you know, they, they showed the capabilities that they were going to make plays in the passing game. Uh, when they needed to and could make explosive plays in a passing game. So uh, this is a very balanced team that we're going to have to play well, run and pass. Uh, obviously, Mark Cooper's off to a great start. You kind of addressed the need to get other people involved in the passing game and everything after the game. Is that more Blake just so comfortable with Amari or are other guys getting open that he's just not seeing? Well, I, I think that there were other opportunities in the game for other guys. You know, sometimes we didn't get him the ball, you know, um, we did have a drop. Um, but but I also think that, you know, we're really trying to feature the players that we have. All right, so, you know, so far, you know, what we've tried to do has been effective and it's worked and a lot of it has gone through Amari Cooper. Uh, you know, D. White had six catches in the first game before he got hurt, but, um, you know, Christian Jones had four in the last game. So, you know, the combination of the players that we have that can make explosive plays, I think the running backs, we've utilized all of those guys. Uh, we just have people with capabilities, and uh, we want them to be involved. And I think we have ways that we can do that. From from a coach who coaches cornerbacks from that perspective, what is it about Mari Cooper that gets him open so consistently in, in these passing routes? Well, um, you know, Coops are really, really got really good size, very quick for a guy his size. Uh, he's got explosive speed, and um, he's exceptionally good against press coming off the, the ball, but he's also very good coming out of a break. Um, and most of the time, 
um, the defender gets beat either on the release or out of the break. And a lot of guys are pretty good at one and maybe not as good as, at the other. Uh, and then he has really good hands and good ball skills. So uh, he's the complete package when it comes to, you know, a guy that is a pretty complete player. Uh, he'll probably get a lot more, you know, man-to-man -man type coverage in this game and it'll be interesting to see how he handles that. He does a good job with it in practice. So, um, you, you know, but, but I also, one of the reasons for the comment about getting more people involved is, you know, they need to have confidence and we need to have confidence in them uh, so that, and we have guys that have capabilities so the other team can zero in on one guy. I want to ask about two specific pass rushers, uh, Ryan Anderson and Xavier Dixon. What have you seen from them through the all season until now, and, and what's been working for them in terms of getting pressure on the quarterback? Well, both those guys have done a really good job, and um, they, they both had some pressures, you know, throughout the year so far. Did a good job in the last game. Um, you know, having those guys improving in those roles certainly gives us more guys that we can play um, in the edge positions, and I think that having fresh guys to be able to rush is really important. And um, I think those two guys have done a really, really good job uh, so far this year uh, in terms of what their production has been in pass rush. Coach, how do you feel like the first three games has prepared you for this stretch of SEC games you got coming up? Well, I, I think that, you know, our team has definitely gotten better. Um, and I think that, that we have a young team and a lot of areas uh, and I think that those guys need to continue to play uh, with more confidence and, and I hopefully because they have played uh, we've gained some confidence and um, understanding of what it takes to play and be successful I think that's how players learn best is you know when they play in games uh, and I do think our team has improved but I also think that it is very very important that we continue to improve and that we can be one of those teams that can play with consistency. Because I don't think you can play good one week and not so good the next and really be able to survive. So, And I think the best way to do that is you play one game at a time. All right, this is the game that we have this week. This is where all the focus is. All right, And they have a very good team. And it's going to take one of our best efforts to do it. And then, you know, you move on from there. So, uh, but I do think the team has improved. I'm encouraged by the, the attitude that this team has. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're just going to have to keep doing that and keep developing as a team so that I don't think we become the team we can become. We just need to keep working at it. Kirk. <coughs> uh, Coach, I, I don't know if anything that's much more important than tackling, but I wonder if there's even more of a premium on it against uh, quick passing teams, getting the ball out quick where you, you don't really have a chance. Well, the that's ball. all we've been playing against. So. And, also, and also, the teaching of tackling, is that such a hard thing to do in, in protecting your team more or less? Well, I, I think that, um, you know, we didn't feel like we tackled very well in the first two games, I thought we tackled much better in the last game. Uh, we, we put a big emphasis on how a guy practices because, you know, if you start tackling people and taking them to the ground in practice, I think you're going to get a lot of guys banged up. The guys that you're practicing against plus the guys you're playing with. So the emphasis for us is to get yourself in the right position to tackle a guy and thud thought we did a better job of doing that last week in practice and I thought we tackled better because of it in the game and I think it's going to be uh, very very important and we continue you know to do that because missed tackles and mental errors will just absolutely kill you when it comes to playing good defense. Nick a couple of questions if I may what specifically do you think that Kurt Roper has done to boost that Florida offense this year? Well, they have a completely different system on offense. So, um, you know, they, they, they do a lot of the things that they did at Duke. 
uh, and um, you know I think Duke was very very productive on offense last year. Um, they've got a lot of multiples of formations, uh, mostly three wideouts in the game most of the time, tight end and a running back, and they'll spread you out in that, uh, as well as being able to run the ball effectively uh, by having the tight end somewhere in the core. Uh, so the balance that they've created, um, the concepts that they have are, you know, sound and effective concepts of what they try to do. and. Um, you know, this is a very good offensive system. Um, you know, I've always told you how much we respect, you know, Duke in terms of what they do there and what, you know, David Cutcliffe has done wherever he's been. And this is basically that system uh, that has, you know, sort of developed through the years and um, has always been a very effective offensive system. And Robinson had 15 catches, 216 yards against Kentucky. What do you see from him that makes him so effective? Well, he's got really good size. Uh, he's a very competitive guy. Um, he's got good hands and he's got good speed. And, you know, Kentucky played, you know, them off a lot and pressured a lot. So it definitely created some opportunities. And uh, he took advantage of it, you know, quite a bit and made some big plays in the game and uh, has ability to run with the ball after the catch. So he's a pretty complete player. Um, you know, in my mind, when it comes to uh, outstanding receivers. Last one, Andrew. And just kind of looking at what the offensive line does has done at protecting the quarterback, only giving up two sacks. How much have they improved, and maybe how much has Blake's elusiveness kind of helped that as well? Well, I think it's probably a combination of both. Uh, you know, both sacks that we have had in games have been late in games, and you know, Jake was in the game, you know, both times, and. Um, and one was actually the play was called incorrectly, so didn't really have anything to do with the execution. Um, so we have done a good job. All right, but I think as you see better pass rushers, you know, we'll get challenged more um, when we see people who uh, are willing to pressure more. Uh, we'll get challenged more. Uh, that hasn't happened a lot. Uh, so that's really going to be a key. Uh, but I think, you know, Blake's ability so far uh, to stay in the pocket, read, and throw the ball effectively has been very good. Uh, but he's also had a good feel on, you know, when to move in the pocket and um, when it's time to take off running. So uh, I think the combination of those thing, two things, you know, really can be very helpful to the offensive line. But the offensive line hasn't done a pretty good job in pass protection to this point. All right, thank you.